Hey guys, Karan here from Mobi Scrub and I've already done one video on top apps for your Galaxy Note 10, but since then, I've figured out 7 more apps that I think would go great with your Note 10. So let's get started. The first app is called Concepts and it's a full-blown comprehensive illustration and sketching application. And it's pretty well equipped and you can start with the color palette. You do get the entire range of colors that you can choose from for your brushes. And I'm now guessing that you can sense the accuracy that you can have with this app. Talking about brushes, you get to set the stroke width, the opacity of the brush and the dynamism that the brush can have. There are quite a few basic brushes that are available within the free version itself. You also get to choose the kind of workspace or canvas you want, what background it should have and if there should be a grid type. You can try the free version which has quite a few things but if you wanted to go all out, there are three plans, there's basic, essentials and get everything which is for about 30 to 35 dollars a year. Moving on to the second one, if you've been missing your notification LED, the closest you can get is to having this nice little ring around the camera notch, it's called AOD Notify. And just like any notification system, you can choose which apps should brighten up that notification LED which is basically a ring around your camera. Now, the basic version only allows you to set one color for all your apps. So for example, you can have a red or a green or a yellow. But if you wanted to do it for each individual app, you would have to pay a premium which is actually not a lot. And the premium pack will also give you access to more LED effects. So by default you get 3, Pulse, Rotate and Gravity. But all of these like Eclipse, Shimmer, Flash, all of these will get unlocked as soon as you get the premium version, if at all you need it. And you can also manipulate the speed of this animation. And you can also set the duration after which this LED should stop blinking. Just fabulous. This next app gives me the ability to remap the hard buttons on my phone. For example, if I double tap and hold my volume down button, it takes a screenshot. Or if I double tap the power button, it will turn on my flashlight. And if I was to double tap again, it just turns it off. Double tapping volume down opens up YouTube Studio for me and double tapping volume up opens up Samsung Notes. So how did I do this? You need to get an app called Side Actions Pro. This app lets me configure what my power buttons, volume buttons and the S Pen buttons can do, especially when you double tap them and when you long tap them because what they should do in a single tap is pretty obvious. I can choose from a variety of actions, you know, whether it's app based, whether it's task based, whether it's sound based or even system based actions can be configured for all your buttons. And you can configure them differently for when you are in lock screen mode or when you are unlocked and you know your phone's in regular mode. So what happens when single press, double press, long press and double press and hold. So you know I've done my bit. So for example double press and hold for volume down will take a screenshot and I gave you an idea of how that might work. For the S Pen buttons you're gonna have to configure a couple of things and I haven't gotten to that yet but I'm pretty excited and I'm gonna try doing just that. In the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you have a time of flight sensor which is able to measure objects, their length, breadth and height in real time just like an augmented reality app natively because there is a time of flight sensor at the back. The app is called Quick Measure and you can find it on the App Store and I'll obviously leave the link in the description below. But this is beyond amazing. As long as you've got good lighting and you know your objects are not too shiny, the app does a pretty phenomenal job of giving you an idea of how big or long or short or high uh, an object might be. And you can measure stuff manually as well by placing an anchor point using that plus icon and then dragging your camera and then again tapping the plus icon. They're pretty accurate but again it really depends on the lighting so be a little careful. The next app on the list is called Movies Edge and essentially it allows me to visualize music on the edges of my phone. In my case it's at the bottom right now and it pretty much draws over any app that might be on. So whether I'm in the phone dialer or whether I'm on YouTube or Twitter, anything. The visualization will stay on. And there are many kind of visualizations within the app. Some of them are free, some are paid for. So if you see a star icon next to apply, it means you would have to get the premium version to unlock those. Now, even within a visualization, you do get, you know, some preferences that you could tweak depending on how you want them to be. You do get a choice of color schemes that you can apply. 
and you know you could have your favorite one all the time or you can extract the color scheme from the album cover of whatever song or album is playing but you know if you want that to happen simultaneously in real time you would then have to get the uh, color freedom pack which is for about 50 rupees it's barely a dollar but yeah as i said you can customize even that particular visualization in terms of its thickness length speed mass and yeah just play around with it and see what suits you best save it and it'll adapt this next one is nothing crazy in particular but it's just something that i really like it's a theme actually and it's called wolf animated and you can see why i like it it's got an always on display which is again an image of a wolf when you tap on the uh, you know the unlock button it has a screen animation and then when you unlock your phone it's got this really nice minimal wallpaper which goes very well with what i have on my screen so to get this go into settings go into themes look for wolf animated and then the top right fourth tile that you see is the one of course, it's a paid one, but you can download the trial and if it works good on your phone, go ahead and buy it. It's barely $2. And the last app in the list is Note 10 Wallpapers. And why not? You know, it's, it's a pretty good gorgeous screen and it's got this unique punch hole in the middle. And you need apps that can give you wallpapers, especially meant for that display. So it's a bunch of really high resolution, high quality punch hole wallpapers that really complement your phone and they look really good on your phone screen. There you go. It's really high quality, right? And you can apply it from within the app. Obviously, you can also download these. And you know, if this app really suits you, go ahead and get the premium version, which will unlock 400 more wallpapers for your Note 10. So that's it guys, those are the 7 apps that I thought would really be great additions for your Galaxy Note 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.